Today, I would like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of lead, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in lead to acetate. And first thing we got to do is find the mass. Once we know the mass of the entire compound, then we're going to find those percentages easy as pie. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we got lead, we got carbon, we got hydrogen, and we got oxygen. Then we're going to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript there at the bottom of a particular element, all right, just put in a one. So there's only one lead in the compound. All right, that's because that's what its subscript is. And there is no parenthesis outside of it which to multiply by. Next, we take a look at the carbon. Now, carbon, there are two carbons here, but there is also an outer subscript to this entire polyatomic anion called the acetate ion. Um, and in order to find then the, the total carbon, we take the inner subscript and multiply it by that outer subscript. All right, so that'd be four carbons. Then hydrogen, same thing. Take the inner, multiply it by the outer, so that's six. And then oxygen, you can tell, is four. So then we're going to take those number of atoms now, and we're going to multiply by the mass of each element. You need a periodic table for this, so, oh, wait, look, there it is. So hydrogen is 1.01, carbon is 12.01, oxygen is 16, and lead is going to be 207.2. All right, so those are the numbers we're going to write down, 207.20 for lead, uh, carbon, 12.01, Hydrogen 1.01. You do enough practice, you'll actually begin to kind of memorize these numbers. Not that you really need, because you should have a periodic table. If you don't, well, uh, right. So here, um, just simply to find the total mass of the element now, we're going to multiply that row and across. So the total mass of lead in the compound is going to be 207.20. The total mass of carbon here is going to be 48.04. Total mass of hydrogen is going to be 6.06. .06. And then oxygen is going to be 64. Then the total mass of the compound now, Easy as pie. Take a look. Just simply multiply this on uh, up the column. That's it. All right. So this is 325, 325.30. And there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the compound. That's what we needed to find first. Now that I know the total mass, I'm going to simply add a column to this table. Watch how quick and simple this will be. Bam. So to now find the mass percent of, let's say, lead, we're going to take the total mass of the lead. So you're only going to be looking at this column, by the way. Take the total mass of the lead, 207.20, divided by the total mass of the entire compound. That's why we had to do that first, all right? So 325.30. That's also why I set this problem up in this way, because now it makes finding these percentages so simple. So this works out to be 63, 63 point, yeah, roughly 70%, right? So that's going to take care of lead. The amount for carbon now is going to be the 48.04. What? Okay, right. Sorry, that's what your brain looks like when it short circuits. And just simply multiply that by 100. That's going to be about 14 now, 14.78%. All right. <clears throat> Next is hydrogen, right? Hopefully by now you're like, all right, I get it. And that's kind of the point. All right. You want it to be very routine, very almost repetitive. All right. And if you do enough practice, when you get to the point of where you're like, all right, I okay, this is overkill, that means you learned it. All right. So until you get to that point, keep working hard. 325.30 times 100. And then this is going to work out to be for oxygen here. This is going to be 19.67%. Uh, All right. And what you can do is you can simply add this column on up just to check. And it should be equal to 100%. All right. We'll turn that into like a little smiley face, right? Because who doesn't want that on the next test? And if you do, you should check out our channel because we got thousands of solved problems out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics as well, geared specifically to help you get that grade on the test. We got a lot of stuff coming out for you. Check us out. See you soon.